Hello well, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Sarah Football. If you're new here, you know what to do. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. We've seen a lot of goals in the last weekend, especially during the Europa League where uh, Fisayo de Lebashiru scored and assisted. Then Osimhen scored his first two goals for Galatasaray in the Turkish League. We're talking about all that in this video. Then I'll be giving you my team of the week as we list the Nigerian players that have actually impressed in the last week of you know world football not only european football world football so without wasting much time we'll get right into it but before we do that subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't the first person to talk about here is wabali the goalkeeper styling wabali featured in cheapas 2-1 win against ts galazi in the south african premiership he was very very good and made about three saves in that game to make sure that he puts his team still in the game in their 2-1 victory against T.S. Galaxy. Now, it's now the number one for the Super um, Eagles and there's no competition. The only competition right now he has is Madoka Okoye who played against Inter Milan. I think they lost that game 2-3 in the Serie A. I think he is one of the goalkeepers people are tipping to replace Stanley Wabali. But I feel that Stanley Wabali has to make a very, very crucial mistake for Madoka Okoye to be actually you know, considered to replace him in that starting lineup then the next person we have right here is william trust ekong who scored his first goal for akalud in the saudi pro league he scored a very great penalty against bono who was very good in saving penalties but he couldn't save that but unfortunately they lost the game 4-2 in that particular fixture william trust ekong joined saudi pro league recently and now he has scored his first goal from the penalty of obviously from the penalty is very good in penalty taking then the next player we have here is Calvin Bassi, who played full 90 minutes for Fulham in the 1-0 win against Nottingham Forest away from the English Premier League. Calvin Bassi, who has been the regu a regular centre-back for Fulham, played very well in that game and kept a clean sheet with Fulham as they went to Nottingham Forest, which is a very, very difficult grounds to go without conceding a goal. But he stood firm to help Fulham get that priceless away win and this particular game. Then move on to Kenneth Omero. Kenneth Omero, the defender, came as a substitute after um, a player got injured. He came in in Kasimpasa's 3-3 draw against Galatasaray or Siemens Galatasaray. He came in in the first half after a, play, a defender got injured and he put in a good shift to uh, in that game as they made a comeback against um, Galatasaray in that game. I think everyone know that that was a very, very shocking result because Galatasaray was actually leading 3-0 before the um, Kasim Passas came back to win to get a points 3-3 draw in that game. So it was a very good game for Kenneth Moro who made some great interceptions, clearances and some good, good performance to make sure that his team got that comeback. Then we talk about Chidera Ejuke in Sevilla. He is a very electric player. He has gotten the pace, the skills and he was very, very too hot to handle for um, Atletico Bilbao. His cross actually helped Sevilla get that equalizer against Atletico Bilbao. The goalkeeper, the Atletico Bilbao goalkeeper, scored the own goal, but it wouldn't have been possible without that Chidera Ejuke's cross. It was very, very good cross that made um, Sevilla get a draw against ten-man Atletico Bilbao. Then Ademola Lokman put in a good shift. He was a very, very good player in that game. He played very well, created one big chance in that game. And could have scored but unfortunately he couldn't so he put in a good shift for atlanta in the 1-1 draw against bologna away from home they could have won that game but the you know the football goals that we are not in the favor in that particular fixture and they shared the sports in that game 1-1 draw that game ended but demola lukman was one of the best players in that game then we talk about wilfred indidi who helps leicester in that game against us now they played very well but unfortunately they fell apart in the last minutes of the game and then he registered his fourth assist of the season in Leicester's 4-2 defeat against Arsenal at the Emirates. They, they could have gotten at least a point, but in the dire embers of the game, Leicester City lost their concentration. But and they was unlucky to score that own goal. It was very, very good until that moment. Fourth assist so far in the English Premier League this season. There we talk about Dele Bashu Fisayo, who featured in Lazio's Europa League game. I'm surprised he didn't play a single uh, minute in their last game uh, in the Serie A. That's after his impressive performance, a goal and assist against Dynamo Kiev uh, in the Europa League. He should have featured in their last game, but maybe 
he is a player for the Europa League and someone else will play in the league. That is that is probably the idea the coach has or the plans they agreed on. Now we'll talk about the other Dele Bashiru, Tom Dele Bashiru, who scored his second goal of the season for Watford in their 2-1 victory against Sunderland. He scored a great penalty to give Watford the win against Sunderland. He's another midfielder. I feel that, you know, we say Nigeria don't have midfielders. We do have midfielders, but call them and see what they can do. Tom Delebashu is in our team of the week. Then, as for the striker position, hmm, I'm sure this is what everyone has been waiting for, the striking position. My first person here is Victor Olatunji, who scored a sixth goal for Sparta Praha in Czech Republic. A diving header against Sigma Olumuk. That is his sixth goal of the season for Sparta Praha in Czech Republic. He's a very good striker. I feel Nigeria has a lot of number nines that if you make a mistake, you're not in form, you're not score for the next five, six games, or you're in a bad form, there's another number nine that is ready to grab that top spot. We know how difficult it is to get a call-up if you are a number nine that is still trying to prove himself to the coaches of the Nigerian Super Eagles. So I, I feel that any player that is not in good form, Ola Tunji should be the, play, the striker that should replace. For example, Vic Kelechi Yanacho has been in a terrible form for Sevilla. He's had a difficult start into his Sevilla career. I, I feel that calling him the next um, 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 the next AFCON qualifiers will be very, very, you know, you know, Concerning, you should raise some eyebrows. Victor Olatunji is a player I feel that should replace him in that starting line, in that in the next Super Ego squad. The last but not the least, the last player we have here is Victor Simen. After three assists in his first three games for Galatasaray, he finally gets his two goals. He scored a brace for um, Galatasaray against Omero's Kasim Pasa. That game that everyone is talking about. Uh, from 3-0 to 3-3, a draw against uh, Kasim Pass. Everyone said the game broke their hearts. You know how the game broke their hearts. I don't need to spell it out for you. But Galatasaray, we are very pleased to see Vito Simen scoring for them. He has now assisted three goals, scored two goals. That's, he's been involved in five goals uh, for Galatasaray since joining them. Incredible, incredible performance from Vito Simen, who scored two incredible goals against Kasim Pasa. That's Omero was Kasim Pasa. So I'd like to know your thoughts. Which player impressed you most or which player should I have included in this list or which player is missing from this list? I would like to know your thoughts in the comment section. Tell me which player you think deserve to be on this list. So let's go over the players again. We talk about Umar Bali uh, from Chipa United. William Trus Ekon who scored his first goal for Akalu. We talk about Calvin Barsi who was very instrumental in Fulham's 1-0 uh, um, victory against Nottingham Forest in the English Premier League. They will go over to Kenneth Murrow, Chidera Juki, Ademola Lukman, Wilfred Ndidi, Dele Bashiru, Fisayo. Then we'll talk about Tom Dele Bashiru. Then we'll move over to Olatunji, Victor Olatunji, and lastly, Victor Osimen. Those are the players I have included in my team of the week. That's Nigerian players' team of the week in this particular just ended football week. I would like to know your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. As usual, my name is Clinton Little. I'm your host. Till next time, guys. Goodbye.